Good morning, my word nerds. Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday edition of Word of the Day. My name is Christine. I am a member of the Perry Girls, and each and every weekday morning, I bring you a new and amazing word of the day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound smart goals. Hello, JW101. Thanks so much for hopping in. We have a big, gigantic, fancy word. Good morning, Laurel, for today's word of the day. Huge, huge word of the day today. And I mean huge. I'm talking a lot of letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen letters. So if you remember this word the next time you play Scrabble or some big lettered word, good morning, John. Make sure you remember this word because this one's going to win the game for you, okay? And it's got a lot of vowels in it too, so you could get rid of a lot of your tiles. So today's word of the day is Weltanschauung. Weltanschauung is today's word of the day. Weltanschauung. Weltanschauung. Okay, this is the word of the day, Weltanschauung, W-E-L-T-A-N-S-C-H-A-U-U-N-G. Again, W-E-L-T-A-N-S-C-H-A-U-U-N-G, 14 letters. So there you go, Weltanschauung, and there it is phonetically, Weltanschauung, Weltanschauung. That's how you pronounce this word. All right, big fancy word, Christine. What the heck does it mean? Weltanschauung. Conception of the world from a specific viewpoint. Good old German, right? But that's what a Weltanschauung is. It's the conception of the world from a specific viewpoint. We all have a Weltanschauung. So the next time someone's on their soapbox and going on and on about how they see the world, you can say, um, your Weltanschauung is showing. German words are the best, aren't they? But you could say something like that, right? Your Weltanschauung is showing. And they're going to, of course, go, uh, uh, what? He. And then you can tell them that a Weltanschauung is a conception of the word. They have a word for everything. They do. They do. They do. Well, so do we. We have too many words for each thing. Um, a conception of the world from a specific standpoint. So how you perceive the world, right? How you have created some whatever in your mind, right? You see a certain politician in a certain light because you've projected your belief system onto that politician. Whether it's somebody who you to totally care for and you think they're a great politician because of the, the conception that you have of them in your mind or... Just the opposite. You totally despise them because of the conception that you've built in your mind from your own viewpoint, from your own standpoint, right? So we all have belief systems that we were either raised with or belief systems because of the way that we were raised. Sometimes our belief systems are different from our parents, but that's because of the way that they raised us. It's very, very relevant today, which is kind of why I grabbed onto it. I try to not do these 14-letter words too often because I really want a lot of participation in the word of the day. Um, but this one really struck me. So again, it's the conception of the world from a specific standpoint or viewpoint. It's called, the word is Weltanschauen. Weltanschauen. So today I want to hear not only about Weltanschauen, but I want to hear your Weltanschauen. What is your conception of the world from your viewpoint today? Now we all know that I'm not going to do this. <laughs> I will tell you that I think America can heal. I think America can get stronger. Do I think we need to make ourselves great again? I'm not going to touch that one with a 10-foot pole. Do I think we need change? I'm not going to that, to touch that one with a 10-foot pole. I'm, I'm not going to be on either side of the aisle with my word nerds. You know, that's one of the things that I love about you guys and that I hope you appreciate about me is that I don't get on here and start preaching one side of the aisle or the other. I'm going to continue to preach America, right? America, Americans love friendship, shaking hands, getting along. Um, we are a country of immigrants. We are a country of, of nationalists. We are a country of patriots. We are all of these things. So for someone to say, oh, a nationalist, you know, is someone who doesn't like foreigners or to say that a patriot is someone 
who hates liberals or we just we need to stop all of this name calling and we need to stop all of the accusations we need to stop all of these crazy belton showings that we've decided to conceive in our minds and then force on other people or you know put our perceptions on other people not throwing away my shot alexander hamilton there you go um yeah that's exactly it right it it if you're a liberal, if you're a Democrat, if you're a conservative, if you're a Republican, if you're um, a libertarian, if you're part of the LGBTQ community, if you're a Mormon, if you're Jewish, if you're Christian, if you're some facet of Christianity, you're, you're here. And that's what matters. And we need to make it work. We're all here. And we need to work together. We need to get our Velton showings kind of in line. Maybe not completely because it's the differences that make us unique. Um, but we need to find, start finding a way to respect one another. Like full-blown respect. And I know I've said that before, but I'll probably say it about 100 more times as we go through all of these crazy times in our lives. Respect. Remember to respect one another. If you want respect, you have to give respect. And that's what it boils down to. Be respectful of others. It's all about the golden rule. Treat others as you would want to be treated. If you're going to be a complete snot bucket to somebody, that's not to say that they should be a snot bucket to you, but if you put that out there, it's going to come back at you. If you cut people off and drive like a jerk, you're not allowed to get mad when somebody else drives like a jerk or cuts you off because that's just the golden rule coming back to bite you in the butt. It's karma, people. So... Velton showing. It's not a bad thing. Just be careful how you use your Velton showing. Okay? Have fun with this word today. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Know that I love you all. And I'll see you again tomorrow morning for another edition of Word of the Day. Joined with the Heart Tribes. Okay? Until then. Mwah. Bye now.